Today, we're gonna have you licking your TV screen to get at what Jared's cooking. Jared, what do you have going for us? Today we're doing shake and bake grouse today. Uh, we're gonna try to keep it as simple and easy as possible. Uh, we have our grouse over here. We got some chopped parsley, and then we have a few different spices. We're gonna add oregano leaves, paprika, celery salt, basil, basil leaves, and onion salt, Parmesan cheese. Uh, you can use any type of crackers. We're gonna get those all grinded up, put into a bag of, I have here a three-fourths of a cup of flour. Uh, we'll get those all mixed in right now and, and get, our, get our shaking going. So we have Gary, what he's doing right now is he's breaking up those crackers. Uh, what you wanna do is finally get those smashed, crashed, crunched, whatever it's called, as, as thin as possible. Uh, food processor, blender would probably be a little bit better. We're just seeing if Gary can do it right now. What we're trying to do here and accomplish is just kind of make the shake and bake uh, from scratch instead of buying the package. We want to make sure that it tastes pretty close, but it comes out a little bit different. Uh, difference always better with us. Now what we're going to do is just add, add probably about a table, tablespoon of all of our ingredients, probably two tablespoons of paprika um, to get things going. Then we're going to make sure we get those mixed back up. We're going to take probably about a fourth a cup of uh, shredded Parmesan cheese. We're going to go ahead and mix, mix everything up in the bag. After we get it all mixed and ready to go, we're going to take evaporated milk, pour it inside a little bowl, and then before we put our grouse in there, we're going to, we're going to dip it inside our evapora evaporated milk. And just drop the grouse right inside the mixture. Gary's going to go ahead and mix that one up. We want to make sure that, that the mixture sticks to our grouse. Also, it gives it a little bit different uh, sweetened taste to it with the evaporated milk. We'll go ahead and pull this out. We'll just place it on a cookie sheet, and then it'll be ready for cooking. We'll go ahead and do the rest of these, place them on there. We're going to put them in the oven for about 30 minutes on 375 degrees. We pulled our grouse from the oven. We let it cook for about 25 minutes. We've gone ahead and sliced up a breast, played it with any side dish that you'd like. Now the very best part, we're going to jump in and take a taste and uh, see if we can't find a little BB inside the grouse. Jared, go ahead. Pretty good. That's really good. Simple, fast, fun meal with your fowl. Have a great time. Thanks for watching Cook What You Catch.